The Giordano Valor. Specs are around the corner, but around the corner means that Kent, who owns Giordano, was shut down last week, and I have a feeling that they're going to be shut down the week of the 4th. Well, I want these specs because I have things I need to do with this bike, so I thought I would give some unofficial specs. How unofficial? Well, you can see this is my stack and reach measurement apparatus. Very, very Alabama engineered, but I think it works. Also, I'm testing out a new microphone. This is a wireless lavalier mic, so let me know if this works. I think I have the noise reduction turned on, even though I still have fans going and the AC going in here, my new AC. If you watch Kev reviews, you'll know why that is. But comment below if this sounds okay. Maybe I can keep using this. If not, I'll be on the search for something else. And by the way, the poor new air conditioner, it's working triple time. I had it down to 75 in here, but I've been walking in and out. Okay, so I have my metric Craftsman measuring tape. I've already done some measurements. I've used an angle finder to get, well, one extra angle because we already know one, and I'll start out with that. So my unofficial geometry specs start with an official number, and that's the head tube angle, 67 degrees. What about the seat tube angle? Well, now that's where I had to do measuring with my angle finder, and it was bouncing between 73 and 74 degrees, but being that the Kent Truvail is 74 degrees, and this is very, very similar, I'm going to say 74 degrees will probably be the official spec, and so that's what I'm gonna put in my unofficial. 74 degrees for the seat tube angle. Seat tube length, we also know officially, this is a 16 and a quarter inch frame, and that equals 412.8 millimeters for our metric friends. Top tube length, I measured from the center of the head tube to the center of the seat tube, and I get 600 millimeters for the top tube length. Let me, let me recheck that. Yes, I just double checked, and it is 600 millimeters, and of course, all of my unofficial specs, you know, give or take a couple of millimeters in either direction or on either end, but I'm gonna go with 600 millimeters. Down tube length, I measured at 730 millimeters. Bottom bracket size, we already knew this because when I took out the sealed cartridge, these do come with the sealed cartridge, by the way. If you haven't watched the Valor review video, all this is probably not making sense to you, so I would recommend that you go watch that. I'll put a link down in the description. But in that video, I took the bottom bracket out. As I do all my bottom brackets, I cheated. I use this now. And the sealed cartridge bottom bracket, 73 millimeters. It's a Neko sealed cartridge. Chainstay length. And this gets a little iffy. I've always seen official measurements be from the center of the bottom bracket to the center of the dropout. And when I measure that, I get 437 millimeters. But I have seen some people measure at the back of the bottom bracket, which I don't think is proper. So mine's center to center, and that's 437 millimeters. Well, how about the seat stay? I measure from the center of the seat tube to the center of the line that angles up from the middle of the bottom bracket, and I get 442 millimeters. Wheelbase, that's center of axle to center of axle. That's 1180 millimeters. Wheel spacing, front wheel, 100 millimeters, rear, 135. And now the stack and reach, which is my spiffy apparatus here. I, I need to come up with some good acronym for this. So drop that down in the comments if you can come up with a good name for my Alabama engineered stack and reach measurement apparatus. I'm gonna go with the stack first. That's the center of the bottom bracket to the line from the center of the head tube. Anyway, that's 650 millimeters for the stack. The reach, 440 millimeters. Everything else we pretty much already know, 760 millimeter wide bars, a 30.4 millimeter seat post diameter. If there's anything I missed or anything you have questions about, drop it down in the comments. I'll see if I can add it to the description. And stick around, because after the fourth, I should have a pretty good fourth video, because the second annual Kev Central Fireworks Show has expanded now over $1,100 worth of fireworks. And I want my living room floor spacing back because I plotted out. I bought 1,170 inches of fuse. 
I plan to time all this out, try to make a great firework show, which I hope to film. So if I can get that filmed and it comes out as good as it did last year, I'll either put it at the end of a video like I did last year, or I'll make it its own video, give you an extra little treat. Thumbs up this video, and if you haven't already, I hope you subscribe. Little button down there, as well as the bell, so that you can get notified of new videos. Thanks again for watching Kev Central. Have a great day.